MJ Hagar for Senate. Motorcycles. I won't take a dime of corporate pack money. Muscle. Loved ones who are most at risk. And masks. It's how you campaign in the middle of a pandemic. We have to step up. I trust local people to run their own schools. Those shots of candidates working a crowd, shaking hands, likely a distant memory in this time of social distancing. I think it will look dopey to people if they see images that they know are actually not happening now. This is a message for Donald Trump. I want your feedback. Now, it's just the candidate so and a camera. Bring it home. I'm Joni Ernst. Even before Corona, I've always thought that the best ads are the most simple ads. Ken Goldstein studies political advertising and messaging. He teaches at the University of San Francisco and runs their Washington program. I would expect people in politics to use the pandemic to show their adultness, if that's a word, or, or credibility is point one. More than ever, your home is your sanctuary. In that's the early days of the pandemic, delivery. companies rushed out ads that Always touted safety and tugged at the heart. Even if we're apart, we'll get through this together. Now, get ready for more. Across Texas, I know the rise in case numbers is causing fear and apprehension. This Joe Biden spot airing in Texas almost doubles as a public service announcement. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. The thing is, when we get through this, and we will, Joe Cunningham is running for Congress again in South Carolina. He's talking about the virus when this ad suddenly takes a turn. And when the virus hit close to home? South Carolina Representative Joe Cunningham has tested positive for the coronavirus. I work to get funds to small businesses who needed them. Businesses Some candidates are talking about the virus. And make sure you can't lose coverage if you get COVID-19. I'm John Hickenlooper. Others are not, at least not now. So here's the deal. Our government is broken. We rely on communist China for far too much, from technology to medicine. Where advertising's being aired and what's being said in advertising is the ultimate reality in a campaign. It's morning again in America. Today, more men and women will go to work than ever before in our country's history. 36 years ago, Ronald Reagan said it was morning in America, a lushly shot ad that became famous, a spot from a different time, not this time. This afternoon, 6,500 young men and women will be married. Now campaigns have to break through the chatter and hope to grab social media with big personalities and edge. One theory is you gotta keep spending more money and make it more, more and more beautiful and more and more uh, crafted to shine through the no noise. I actually think what shines through the noise is sincerity. Saddle up, Texas, because the Senate race is in full swing.